What if I told you that deep in the forest canopy, there are salamanders that jump from the world's tallest trees to escape danger? Or that in the ocean, dolphins have been seen eating one of the most venomous creatures imaginable? How many of you remember that flock of sheep in Inner Mongolia that walked in a near-perfect circle for over 12 days? There were a lot of theories for that. Neurological infections, disruptions in the Earth's magnetic field, but sometimes the strangest behaviors aren't one-off, but an established part of a species' existence. Today, we're looking at 10 of the most bizarre animal behaviors ever documented. These aren't just quirks, they are glitches and adaptations so strange, you'll question what you think you know about how nature is supposed to work. Number 10, the fainting goats. First on the list is a creature with a very strange reaction to being startled. You've likely seen the videos of the Tennessee fainting goat. A loud noise, a sudden movement, or even just the anticipation of food can trigger it and suddenly they freeze up, their legs lock, and they topple over. It looks like they're fainting from fear, which is where the name comes from. But the explanation isn't what you think. The goats are fully conscious the entire time. The truth is in a genetic condition called myotonia congenita. It's a hereditary disorder that affects their skeletal muscles. In most animals, a fight or flight response involves a muscle contraction followed by an immediate release, allowing them to run. In these goats, that release signal is delayed. The muscles stay rigid for about 10 to 20 seconds, causing them to lose balance. It isn't painful, but it does look inconvenient. Interestingly, older goats seem to adapt. They learn to brace themselves or lean against a fence to ride out the stiffness instead of falling over every time. The history of the breed is just as strange. It's traced to the 1880s when a farm laborer named John Tinsley showed up in Tennessee with four of them. Their inability to jump fences made them easy to contain, and farmers noticed that the constant muscle tension made them good for meat. It's a strange case where a genetic glitch, one that would make them easy prey in the wild, became a desirable trait for humans. Number 9. The Intoxicated Bees Then we have the case of honeybees, and a behavior that's surprisingly familiar. It turns out that these insects can accidentally become intoxicated. It can happen when the nectar they collect from flowers or sap from trees starts to ferment, usually in warm weather. Natural yeasts create ethanol, the same alcohol in our drinks. A bee in the middle of its work takes a sip and suddenly its motor skills are impaired. Scientists who have studied this found the effects are very similar to those in humans. The drunken bees stumble, they have trouble flying, and they can get so disoriented, they get lost. The problems don't stop there though. If an intoxicated bee makes it back to the hive, it faces what are essentially bouncers, guard bees at the entrance. They can spot an intoxicated bee by its erratic flight and clumsy movements. Drunkenness is a serious threat to the colony because fermented nectar brought into the hive could contaminate the entire honey supply. So the guard bees will block the drunk bee's entry, sometimes attacking it, even biting its legs off. It's a brutal system, but it's designed to protect the whole colony from the mistake of one individual. Number eight, the backward running naked mole rat. At number eight is an animal that is full of biological oddities, the naked mole rat. These rodents live underground in complex tunnel systems in parts of Africa. And in that world of darkness, they've developed a key adaptation. They can run backward just as fast as they run forward. Their environment is a network of narrow tunnels that can stretch for miles. There's no room to turn around. So if they meet another mole rat or reach a dead end, they just shift into reverse. But that's just one of their strange traits. They're one of the only cold-blooded mammals with a body temperature that fluctuates with their surroundings. They have a high resistance to cancer and can survive for up to 18 minutes without oxygen. Their lips are positioned behind their teeth so they can dig with their mouths without getting a face full of dirt. They also live in eusocial colonies, similar to ants or bees with a single queen and sterile workers. Because they have poor eyesight, they rely heavily on touch and a large portion of their brain is dedicated to processing information from their teeth, which they use for everything from digging to social interactions. The ability to run backward is just one piece of the puzzle that makes the naked mole rat one of the most uniquely adapted animals on the planet. Number seven, the skydiving salamanders. For our seventh entry, we're in the California redwood forests at the top of the tallest trees on earth. Over 280 feet up lives a small amphibian with a remarkable survival tactic. This is the wandering salamander, and it has essentially learned how to skydive. These salamanders can live their entire lives in the crowns of these trees. But when a predator like a bird appears, instead of freezing, the salamander will leap into open air. This isn't a random fall, it's a controlled aerial descent. Researchers studied this in a lab using a vertical wind tunnel, and what they found was fascinating. The moment the salamander starts to fall, it assumes a skydiving posture, 
legs and tail stretched out to maximize air resistance. This alone slows its fall by about 10%, but it's more than just parachuting. By moving its tail and body, it can actually steer, making turns to guide its fall. This often allows it to land on another branch of the same tree it jumped from. What's incredible is that they have no obvious gliding adaptations, no skin flaps or webbing. The entire maneuver is achieved through posture and movement alone, an adaptation that allows it to escape danger in its three-dimensional world. Number six, the rats with a sense of rhythm. The ability to feel a beat and move in sync with it was, for a long time, thought to be a uniquely human skill. But a discovery at number six challenges that idea. It turns out rats might have an innate sense of rhythm. In a study out of Japan, researchers fitted rats with small accelerometers to track their head movements and then played them Mozart. The finding was that the rats bobbed their heads in time with the music without any training. When the scientists adjusted the music speed, they found that, just like humans, the rats' synchronization was strongest in the 120 to 140 beats per minute range, a tempo very common in music. This discovery goes against an older theory. The previous idea was that an animal's preferred tempo would be tied to its own body's rhythm, like its heartbeat, which is much faster in a rat. But this study suggests the optimal tempo is actually determined by the time constant of the brain, which is more similar across different species. It hints that the wiring for feeling rhythm might be a much more fundamental biological trait than we ever realized. Number five, the penguin stone economy. At number five, we head to Antarctica, home of the Adelie penguin and a social dynamic that is very strange. For these penguins, the most valuable resource isn't food, but stones. Adelie penguins build their nests from small pebbles. A well-built elevated nest is critical to keeping the eggs off the ice and safe from freezing meltwater. A good nest can be the difference between survival and death for their chicks, but on the barren shores of Antarctica, good stones are hard to find, which has led to some extreme behaviors. Males are constantly at risk of having their stones stolen by other penguins, but it's some of the females who have been observed engaging in a particularly calculated strategy. This has led to what some scientists have controversially termed penguin prostitution. A female will leave her partner and nest to visit an unpaired male. She'll perform the courtship rituals and allow him to mate with her. Then, she will use the opportunity to steal a stone from his nest and take it back to her own. This has been seen multiple times with some females essentially trading copulations for stones to improve their own nests. It shatters the simple romanticized view of penguins and reveals a complex social system driven by the desperate need to secure resources. Number four, the elephant who peels bananas. Elephants are known for their intelligence, but our fourth entry shows a level of dexterity that is, as far as we know, unique. At the Berlin Zoo, an Asian elephant named Pang Pa taught herself how to peel bananas. Most elephants just eat them whole, peel and all, but Pang Pa is very specific. She eats green or all yellow bananas whole. She rejects brown, overripe ones completely, but when she's given a yellow banana with just a few brown spots, she performs her trick. She uses her trunk to break it, shakes the fruit out of the peel, discards the skin, and eats the pulp. Researchers were initially confused because they kept giving her perfectly yellow bananas, which she ate normally. Only when they figured out her specific preference did she reveal her skill. So where did she learn this? Pang Fa was hand-raised by zookeepers who would peel bananas for her. It's believed that she learned the behavior from them through observation, a clear example of interspecies learning. What's also interesting is that no other elephants in her group, including her own daughter, have learned the skill from her. It suggests this isn't a behavior that is easily transmitted. It's a case that really pushes our understanding of individual learning and problem solving in these animals. Number three, the crocodiles that spark debate. Coming in at number three is a set of observations so unexpected, and I should say highly controversial, that they challenge our basic understanding of crocodiles. We think of them as cold, instinct-driven predators. But a few accounts suggest something more complex might be going on. One famous account comes from a researcher who reported seeing a crocodile nudge a dog that had fallen into a river, seemingly guiding it to the bank where it could escape. There have been other strange observations, like crocodiles carrying flowers on their snouts or pushing them around in the water, a behavior with no clear survival purpose. Then there's the well-known story of Pocho, a crocodile in Costa Rica that was rescued by a man and formed a two-decade-long bond with him, swimming and playing together. Now, it's very important to state that the scientific community is heavily divided on this. Many experts argue these behaviors are misinterpreted, that the crocodile helping the dog was a one-off anomaly or that the play is just random object interaction. Attributing an emotion like empathy to a reptile is a major leap. 
Still, these documented events are undeniably strange. They force us to ask questions we might not have thought to ask before. Is it possible the social lives of reptiles are more complex than we believe? While the jury is still out, the possibility is strange enough for it to make this list. Number two, the Orca's Wave Crashing Hunt. At our number two spot is a display of intelligence and teamwork that is truly remarkable. We're talking about orcas and a very sophisticated hunting technique known as wave crashing. Imagine a seal resting on an ice floe in the Antarctic. A pod of orcas spots it and begins a coordinated plan. They line up side by side and then swim at high speed toward the ice. Right before impact, they dive in unison and their powerful tails create a large wave that washes over the ice, knocking the seal into the water. This is not a random act, it's a learned and culturally transmitted strategy. Different orca pods have their own unique hunting traditions, and this wave washing is one of the most complex. They have to assess the size of the ice, the seal's position, and coordinate their speed and the timing of their dive. If the first wave fails, they will regroup, adjust their approach, and try again, creating more waves from different angles until they succeed. It's a chillingly effective demonstration of problem solving and social cooperation that proves orcas are among the most intelligent and culturally complex animals in the ocean. Number one, the dolphins who eat venomous snakes. And now for the number one spot, we have a behavior that was until very recently completely unknown and it has scientists baffled. Dolphins have been observed hunting and eating highly venomous sea snakes. Let that sink in for a moment. Dolphins are choosing to consume one of the most toxic animals in their environment. This is based on a handful of recent rare observations, so it's not considered common behavior. Researchers have seen them tossing the snakes, subduing them, and then eating them. This goes against everything we thought we knew about their diet. The venom of these snakes, like the yellow-bellied sea snake, is potent enough to be fatal to humans and presumably to dolphins. So why would they take that risk? There are a few theories, but no definitive answers yet. One idea is that this is a new adaptation, possibly driven by changes in their environment, like overfishing of their usual prey. Another more remote possibility is that the dolphins have figured out a way to consume the snakes without being poisoned, or that they have a higher tolerance to the venom than we realize. This behavior is a high stakes mystery. It highlights how much we still have to learn and the incredible and sometimes audacious adaptability of one of the ocean's smartest animals. It's a behavior so bizarre and so risky it easily takes the top spot. So from a genetic quirk that causes a goat to freeze to the complex coordinated hunt of an orca pod and even dolphins developing a taste for venomous snakes, what these behaviors show us is that the animal kingdom is constantly adapting in ways we are only just beginning to understand. These aren't just strange facts, they're windows into the incredible pressures of survival, the power of evolution, and the complex intelligence that exists all around us. They show that there is still so much that remains unexplained. I'm curious to know which of these cases you found the most compelling. Was it the penguin stone economy or the salamanders in the redwoods? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching.